Sup, sup, sup. My name is Rear for the Gear Council, and this is a super budgeted version of Heroes. And this deck is formed based on three structure decks. So, again, this deck is formed just by using three of the structure decks, hence the focus of the deck. The real, you know, basic hero deck will be coming uh, because of the snowstorm. It will be coming on Thursday. I'm going to try to get out early Thursday morning. Um, so. Bear with me, maybe Wednesday, just maybe tomorrow. Right now, <clears throat> I am preparing myself to brave the winter storm because we're on New York. And I'm going through the winter storm to get the hero deck to do the opening today for you guys. So, bear with me with that. Um, but I wanted to basically just splurge the channel with content for you guys to enjoy. So, just in case I couldn't get the stuff out, here we go. We have three Avion. Now, the reason for three Avion is because since this is based on the hero deck, you can bring out Tornado and you can bring out Kamikaze, which are both really spam fucky. And me and Mikey uh, both used basically similar builds, and we squared off on <laughs> Dev Pro using these builds. So you'll be seeing that tomorrow, definitely, as I do finish the post commentary stuff. Three elements of hero. Uh, Neo Alias, same kind of reason. You can go Koga. That's really the only use outside of, you know, like if you're going to Miracle Fusion, he's just going to be a target for Great Tornado. Not much there. Too honest, it's in the deck. Why not? Three Shadow Mists. New Searcher. Two Summoner Monk, two Specialist Shadow Mists with all the spell cards, one Grand Mole. Because this is super budgeted and Grand Mole is a great option still. It helps with the mirror match. You'll see that. Uh, three Emergency Call. Three Hero Lives. Two Righteous Justice. MST in the form of Hero Destruction. Uh, but it's much easier to counter than the MST because you could just basically play a, a um, Compulsory and bounce the hero back in. No hero to resolve this. So keep that in mind. Three Miracle Fusion. Great Tornado Spam is Great Tornado and Chaos if you can actually bring out Chaos. I've done it once or twice. Uh, three Mass Charge because this is the super budgeted build. So you're going to need it to recycle the three Mass Change and the two Mass Change second. It does work. One Bottomless. Three Battle Guard Howling. This card is featured on Tech Tuesday today. But I will quickly read the effect, and then we'll have the whole discussion on Tech Tuesday today. When a warrior-type monster you control is attacked for a target or by an opponent's monster effect, target one face-up monster your opponent controls, inflict damage equal to the attack of the face-up monster you targeted with this card, and if you do, return it to the hand. Um, basically, what I like to say about this card is this is hot tech, and it is fun as hell to play. You may end up seeing me play it in six samurai because it's so freaking good. Basically, what happens is if they attack or they use a monster effect, it's going to be flipped uh, as long as it's based on a warrior, and then you can bounce the card and inflict damage directly on its attack. Now, if your opponent chains something like mass change, you can change another one of these in the same chain to break up the play, which you'll see that during. Tech Tuesday. Let me just put it that way. I'm promoting Tech Tuesday. Uh, one Capulse and two Call of the Haunted. The extra deck is just every single like fusion you'll get in there. I still feel Konami made a slight mistake. They should have reprinted Acid in here. I have my Acids in front of me. I'm good. But they should have reprinted Acid just for Sealed Play. Sealed Play is so much fun. Um, so Bubble Man is not in here for that reason because... There's nothing really to use him with. The contrast is brought out by two mask heroes. And why he's face up on the field. This card's also treated as light. Once a turn during either player's turn, you can target one face of card in the field and negate that target's effect into the end of the turn. It's 3,000. Most of the time, you won't see it. Just there for filler. Three great tornado. You will actually see this uh, because of the miracle fusion. And once you get to the first avion, you just go from there. And it's awesome spam. It's hilarious. Three kamikaze. That, that Avion, man. That Avion Great Tornado plays for days. And Kamikaze is actually pretty freaking good. Um, basically, for those of you who don't know, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Only one monster can attack during your opponent's battle phase. So you throw him in defense mode. And when this card, um, you know, if you're referring to the 101, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, then to the graveyard, you can draw one card. It's pretty freaking nifty. Pretty freaking nifty. Um. Shout out to Mr. Valley Master. I'm not sure if you've done this yet, but you can 
use one of these things. If you get what I mean? Yeah? Okay. Uh, there's one of them that allows you basically use any kind of monster that's going to swap into it. Mr. Bobby Master probably knows this, and you go into, like, the wind one off a of wind deck. <coughs> Got those. <clears throat> Dragoonities, but I leave the Dragoonity stuff to Miss Valley Master. He knows it better than anyone. And then uh, three Koga. I love Koga. He's one of my favorite mask heroes because he gains 500 attack for each monster your opponent controls. And once per turn during each player's turn, you banish one hero from your graveyard to target one face up monster field. It loses attack equal to the banished monster's attack until the end of the turn. He sets up for OG Cage for days. And then we have three Dark Law for obvious reasons. But this is the budgeted version. Let me just say that again, because some people just don't like to listen. This is the budgeted version. It even says it in the title down below. Um, the normal build will be coming out once I get the remaining two. I'm only picking up one today because the snowstorm even screws me over. <laughs> and um, it's going to be hard enough picking up the one, just getting there and doing that. So as long as I can, you, the opening of the deck will be a night. Here's Lutz build it, and then Tech Tuesday will also follow. Uh, sometime today. There's, there's a lot of stuff coming out for you guys. But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Read for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council out. Peace.